keep the ownership uh, in copyright. First thing we can conclude is that there is a high protection, at least in the law, of authors in the music industry, right? They are in control of their copyright, that they, they, they can only get, um, quote unquote, rid of their copyright with documents in writing that they are, of course, free to sign or not. Um, Here, uh, very well defined also, and it's a limited topic that you spoke about, but I think you have given an excellent overview of the various rules that we have here. First of all, it's uh, really good to say that the licensing agreements in these issues are the legal contracts we will be touching upon the contract law um, that govern this use of musical compositions and they apply the terms under which uh, the one party which is a licensee then is granted permission on uh, the use of music uh, which is owned by the IP of another party itself. Um, so uh, first of all, we have different groups of interest uh, in uh, these contracts, namely first of all the songwriters and the music publishers which uh, are basically we have the music publisher which uh, work for the songwriters and the composers. Um, they are responsible for the management of the IP, namely the copyright, most of all. Um, they will be managing the IP of their clients in a way that uh, we can actually support uh, in terms of royalties in return of this copyright uh, trade-off. It's, it's a great presentation. Thank you, thank you so much. I really enjoyed uh, enjoyed this. I think that the people or contract law even broader. Question also that I am in favor of harmonizing everything here. I, I, I am not, eh? <laughs> but I, I, li I like the fact that there is some diversity here. But you may, as we have with the European Union, that is with the consumer contracts. And I think they're a bit similar to consumer contracts when it comes to real individual uh, authors and uh, musicians. Uh, yeah. I intervene and commission Kima for the directive. Uh, like as you say, in contracts, yeah. we cannot have complete harmonization. We have the same issues in copyright. So the harmonization has been reached last week with the use of directives. Today on the topic last week, we actually last week, also two speakers, uh, which I assume we are all at least a little familiar with. So yeah, firstly, what are masters actually? Um, so under US law, um, when it comes to musical works, there are two types of copyright involved. Firstly, that one for your musical composition. So yeah, musical composition is basically your lyrics, the melody, etc., etc. And then there's a separate copyright for the sound recording, uh, which would be the masters, and this is derived to the original recording. And a theoretical sort of definition, sampling would be taking an excerpt, be it a beat, a musical note, a part of a recording, well, within the concept of music especially, and somehow manipulating that recording, either making it slower, somehow uh, changing the pitch or the shift of, um, of this particular sound. But the discussion with respect to sampling and music recording has focused on whether or not we are pro or against sampling, whether or not theoretically it is acceptable.